एवरीवन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल मिशन नेट फिजिक्स एग्जाम एंड गाइस टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सो आई एम गोइंग टू शेयर सम ऑफ द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर्मूले ऑफ क्लासिकल मैकेनिक्स विद ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल्सो गाइज ऑल दीज फॉर्मूले आर वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द अपकमिंग सी एस आई आर नेट फिजिक्स एग्जाम एज वेल एज फॉर द गेट फिजिक्स एग्जाम Now, guys, when you will prepare all these formulae, you will be able to solve most of the questions based on the topics related to which I am going to do the discussion in this video. And even if you will practice the previous year questions based on these topics, it will be very easy for you to solve all those previous year questions. Now, guys, let's just start the discussion about all these important formulae. Also, if you are new on this channel and if you have not subscribed the channel yet. then what you can do you can subscribe it just by clicking uh, on the subscribe button below this video now let's start the discussion so guys the very first topic related to which i'm going to discuss the formula with all of you is lagrangian now this lagrangian topic mainly like how many formula we are having in this particular topic so i would say the formulae which are very important and uh, related to which you can expect the questions in your upcoming exam there are mainly four formulae we are having okay so now let's talk about all these four formulae but guys before telling you about these four formulae i want to let you know about the little the basic difference between the lagrangian and hamiltonian which every student should know so what is that difference lagrangian is a function of generalized coordinate and generalized velocity clear but hamiltonian is a function of generalized coordinate and generalized momentum clear so this is a basic difference between both but the formula if you will just observe so in the formula like lagrangian is t minus v that means kinetic energy minus potential energy and hamiltonian is kinetic energy plus potential energy so there we are just having a little difference but this difference that lagrangian is a function of generalized coordinate and velocity and uh, hamiltonian is a function of generalized coordinate and momentum and the velocity and momentum which i have told you are also generalized velocity and generalized momentum now let's talk about our next formula that is lagrange's equation of motion in the lagrangian so basically in lagrangian we are going to talk about four important formulae and after knowing about these four formulae there will be like great chances that you will be able to solve most of the questions based on lagrangian uh, which you will do even from the previous years also which will be asked in the upcoming exams now guys if i am going to talk about the second equation which is equation of motion that is lagrange's equation of motion the equation of motion is d by dt del l over del q dot minus del l over del q is equal to 0 next we are having the generalized momentum formula in terms of lagrangian which is again very important we need it whenever we want to do the conversion from one coordinate to the another one so that will be required now the formula is p is equal to del l over del q dot clear q dot is representing the generalized velocity when you will put this value of momentum like uh, the value of del l over del q dot here you will get the term dp over dt and dp over dt means what rate of change of momentum and we all know that represents the force so any time if you will get the expression or the question related to the generalized force you can even do that substitution and you can get the expression for the force next next formula is for the action so any time if they will ask you to find the action the formula is integration from t1 to t2 l dt where l is the lagrangian next guys if i'm going to talk about the topic hamiltonian the very first formula is h is equal to t plus v then we are having the hamilton's equation of motions which are q dot is equal to del h over del p and p dot is equal to minus del h over del q both the expressions both the equations are hamilton's equation of motion and they are very important they sometimes help you just in the simplification steps clear if you want to just substitute one uh, variable's value in terms of another or one coordinate in terms of another you want to write then these equations will help you next guys if i am going to talk about the next one that equation provides us the relation between lagrangian and hamiltonian if hamiltonian is given if you want to find lagrangian you can use it directly if lagrangian is given you want to find hamiltonian then also you can use it directly clear next there is another formula in which we are going to have the expression 
for this thing that if we want to find the total time derivative for any given variable, then the formula will be Poisson bracket of that variable with Hamiltonian plus del A by del T. Next, canonical transformation. If you want to know if the new set of coordinates which have been given to you, did you get those coordinates just after the canonical transformation has taken place? So just to check the, this thing, what you need to do, you just need to find the Poisson bracket of new set of coordinates with respect to the old ones. If you will get it equal to 1, that means this is canonical transformation or the canonical transformation has taken place. Clear? So this is the condition which you can check. The Poisson bracket of new set of coordinates with respect to the old ones, when you will find, you will get it equal to 1. What is the Poisson bracket expression? So here I have written it clear with respect to the old set of coordinates. So what are the old set of coordinates? Small q and small p and what are the new ones? Capital Q and capital P. So when we will write the Poisson bracket expression, it will be like this. Which will be equal to 1 if the transformation was canonical. Clear? Next. If you have uh, like done the canonical transformation and if you have got the new set of coordinates and you already had the old set. Okay, so corresponding to the old set of coordinates, if you had the Hamiltonian, that is H, and corresponding to the new set of coordinates, if you are having the Hamiltonian, that is H dash, then what will happen? The relation between H dash, which is the Hamiltonian corresponding to new set of coordinates, and the relation between H, that is Hamiltonian corresponding to the old set of coordinates, will be this, where F is the generating function, which helps the transformation to take place. Clear? So here f is the generating function with the help of which this transformation has taken place. H dash, Hamiltonian corresponding to new set of coordinates. H, Hamiltonian corresponding to old set of coordinates. Next guys, there are four different kind of generating functions. Okay, if they will ask you some question based on the generating functions, you should know about them. F1, F2, F3 and F4. Now for writing or for memorizing these generating functions, there is a trick. You can easily just prepare them. I have also provided you the video regarding the trick to memorize the generating functions easily. If you have not watched that video, you can watch it. Okay, the video will be available on, the, on this channel that is Mission Net Physics Exam. You can check that video once to know about this thing and how we have got the four gen, uh, generating functions and also how we have written the expressions or the formulae corresponding to them. Clear? And the sign convention, everything I have discussed here. So basically, a small q small p capital q capital p if you just easily want to know about the sign convention you need to know one thing that the first and the last will be negative that means a small q and capital p will be negative and the rest two will be positive so if you will see small capital p negative small q negative small q negative capital p negative one more thing with a small small will be there with capital capital will be there next thing if in any generating function any coordinate is not present, we are writing the formula for that coordinate. Like a small q was here, but small p was not here. So I have written the formula for that. Capital P was here, but capital Q was not here. So I have written the formula for that. That's how you can easily write these expressions. And I hope that the discussion which we have done in this video will be helpful for all of you guys. Now one more thing. That is that if you want to attend the sessions uh, in a little more detail, in which we are going to discuss the formulae, then we practice the questions, okay, we talk about that topic. So, if you even want to attend those detailed courses, okay, or in which like everything will be in a systematic manner, or uh, continuous, well-structured, well-planned classes will be there, then you can also take the Unacademy Plus subscription. Also, guys, by taking the Unacademy Plus subscription, you all will be able to attend the live classes by all the top educators, we are having on Unacademy Plus for your exam preparation. Along with this guys, weekly quizzes, doubt clearing sessions and also mock test, PDF of important notes, recordings, recordings of the live classes will be available to you. Okay, so there are many, many, many benefits which you get like as I have told you just now. Clear? So if you want to get all these benefits, you can take the Unacademy Plus subscription and the best thing is you will be able to get the guidance by all the top educators we are having on Unacademy Plus for your exam preparation. So guys, I hope that each and every discussion which we have done in today's session will be clear to everyone. But still, if you will have any doubt, you can let me know about it just by commenting below this video. Also guys, there is one more thing. If you want to take the subscription, you can also take the subscription, okay? And 
when you will take the subscription use the referral code that is anjali arora a capital and all other alphabets in small and no space in between write this referral code apply it and you will get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount now the point is how you can take the an academy plus subscription to attend the well structured and the well planned courses which are going on on an academy plus for your exam preparation so guys first of all you can download the an academy learning app then in the an academy learning app you will just log in okay after logging to the app select the goal goal will be csir ugc net if you are preparing for the csir net physics exam after that you need to do one thing just click on the three lines you will get at the left hand side corner just after clicking on that you will get plus mentioned there click on plus when you will click on plus you will get get subscription written there click on get subscription and follow the further steps at the place of referral code use the referral code anjali arora okay a capital and all other alphabets in small no space in between apply the referral code and get the 10% discount in the total subscription amount there are many plus courses going on on an academy plus right now even you can check them their course structure their timings and everything clear so guys in the learning app you will be able to check it okay so mainly right now a uh, complete course on core topics of physics excel course and the different courses for different subject okay there are complete course for different subjects uh, like all these different different courses by all the top educators are going on i am also taking the classes for different courses there clear and one course which is complete course on core topics of physics in that course i am going to discuss all subjects which are there in our csir net physics exam syllabus clear so all the subjects important topics i will cover in that course so if you want to attend the live classes of all these ongoing courses by all the top educators you can take the an academy plus subscription thank you very much everyone for joining or for watching this session and thank you keep on watching all the videos i have provided you on this channel that is mission at physics exam and if you are new on this channel what you need to do you just need to subscribe it click on the subscribe button below this video i hope that after that when you will click on the bell icon as well you will get the notifications for all the new videos which i will upload on this channel that is mission net physics exam thank you very much everyone thank you